Alright, what's up everybody, the dev guy, and this is for anyone who wants to be a dev on Roblox. So, uh, first you gotta pick like what you wanna do when it comes to dev, and so, in Roblox there's a lot of stuff to do, so you can become a clothes designer, a builder, a scripter, a, a render artist, GFX artist, a sound designer, like it's so much uh, stuff when it comes to Roblox development. So really, I would say... Uh, go to the Roblox dev form and look at what you would want to do So like me I want to be able to do everything like build script renders all the other stuff like model but it wouldn't make sense for me to uh, Try to do all of it at once You want to pick one thing that you really want to do and just stick with it like that's the best way to learn just pick one thing and make it your main thing you going to be good at because you're just starting off if you just starting off and you uh, just start learning how to animate do particles all different type of stuff all at once then it's going to take longer uh, it's best to master one thing and then uh, practice everything else uh, and it's not a opinion it's a fact like uh, you have to master it's best to master one thing before jumping into all different type of stuff uh, so I would recommend so say if you want to do scripting I would say practice this is with anything like anything you want to do I say practice two hours a day minimum minimum two hours a day and uh, if you can't do two hours a day uh, say if Monday I did two hours and Tuesday I couldn't do it at all try to do like uh, Wednesday do like four hours or do like uh, two hours and 30 minutes and then two hours 30 minutes the next day something like that but you want to be consistent uh, if I was to like script it don't matter how long you do it do it you got to be consistent like say if I've been scripting for five years but I'll only practice scripting one time a month like someone who's dedicated they would have, they would be way better than scripting, way better than scripting to me. Uh, and it really doesn't take that long. It it really depends on you. So if you really want to learn how to do everything, but uh, I'm just saying, stick with one thing. You want to focus on that the most. Like if you want to do a whole bunch of stuff, that's okay. You can still do it. I'm just saying, stick with uh, the one thing you want the most because you want to be able to master. It at least one thing before you go into the next category so say if you're doing building and scripting and you want to do scripting the most I say practice scripting two hours minimum every day and then on the side do building for like 30 minutes every day 30 minutes every day or every two days something like that because you want to focus on one thing mainly and then once you master that, then you can go on to different stuff. And plus, if you're doing a whole bunch of different other stuff, it might be too much work. You might get burned out. So uh, it's good to do it at a steady pace. And you got to be consistent with it. So once you're consistent, I recommend making a Twitter. You want to make a whole. You want to make social media. You want to make a Twitter, an Instagram, uh, really you just need a Twitter, but I say Twitter and Instagram and a YouTube channel and you just want to post your stuff, your commissions and of course you want to have an account on the Roblox dev form and you just want to post your commissions and your work there. So it's a lot of stuff to go into Roblox dev, you uh, want to help with small projects and you want to make sure your price is right. I'm making a whole series on how to become a developer on Roblox. This is going to be a series. So this is like the intro video or the general overview of becoming a developer. So when you're first starting out, uh, so for your first work, I would recommend just so you can get your name out there uh, to like do some stuff for free. You don't got to do everything for free. Like just do a few things for free and uh like just have them give you credit and that will get you a long way especially if you're new 
because if you're new, you want to get your name out there, and what better way to get your name out there than to uh, uh, do some free work for someone and then have them shout you out or like just give you credit for the work you did. And when you first start out, don't put your highest surprise. Don't put them like 10k Robux for one render. People like i5k, they've been doing this for years. Like. You see those people that be posting 10k Robux for a render, a GFX, thumbnail, stuff like that. They've been either very consistent or they've been doing it for years. Like if you want to get like them, you got to be consistent. You got to stick to it. But yeah, this is going to be a little serious on how to become a developer on Roblox. So uh, yeah, this is a little intro video. And I will have scripting tutorials too like... Uh, like I said, I want to do everything when it comes to Roblox developing, like game design, all that other stuff. I'm really into technology, so uh, yeah, this is just the intro video. But yeah, when it comes to becoming a Roblox developer, you can't be lazy. You got to be consistent, especially if you're just starting out. Okay, so I also want to say on your journey, you might fail a few times. If you try to make a game by yourself, you might like... um. You might not uh, get no visits. Your game might just fall out, just stop. But that's okay. You just got to keep pushing through. Keep trying. Keep being consistent. Eventually, you'll get there. Uh, my first few games uh, not doing so good. Like, I spent so much time on them too. But that's okay. You just got to keep pushing through. Keep going through it. Like, no matter how much you fail, just keep doing, going. Eventually, you'll get there. Because when you first start off, you might not be that good, but as you keep going, progressing, uh, you'll get better and better. So, uh, my main thing right now is scripting, and I have been uh, doing a bunch of stuff with scripting. I've been learning. I hope I've been learning so much on scripting. Uh, it's only two people I really recommend uh, when it comes to doing uh, looking at the tutorial series. Now, when it comes to like looking at different scripts, you can look up a whole bunch of people, but only a few YouTubers actually have good tutorial series on scripting. Like uh, certain YouTubers are just not good. For so it's this one YouTuber I follow who makes you wild. Like he's so good. Like I love his tutorials. I'm going to uh, put it in the next video, but I highly recommend checking out. But yeah, the tutorials are so good. And this is some of the stuff I made from it. I do have a whole bunch of different other channels. I do like uh, vlogs, uh, gaming videos, play other games, reaction stuff like that. So if you want to check that out, the links will be in the description for my other channels. And also, I sometimes on the weekends I stream like random games today. But yeah, that's really it for this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. It really does help the video out a lot. I appreciate y'all. See y'all in the next one. Peace out.